First thing we want to always do with this is well, I go collar grip. I honestly prefer to be back here, but this is fine. One thing to keep in mind is whoever has the higher grip has the better grip. So anytime his grip is higher than mine, I want to remove that grip, regrip. The basic way to do a sotogari in simplest terms is I'm going to take a step right on the side of his foot, on the side that I'm controlling the arm. I'm going to step on the side of his foot. I don't want to step too far. I don't want to step too close. I just want to step with enough room to clear my other leg through. So I step, this leg comes through. As I'm stepping in, this elbow goes down, this elbow goes up. I'm rotating and, and putting all the weight on this leg. Now, a common mistake most people make is they hit low and the leg stops because all the weight is on that leg. I need to hit right in the back of the knee with the back of my knee. It's going to bend his knee in, make it to where it gets light and I can start lifting it up. I want to make sure I lean and lift as I drive down to the ground. I'm punching down toward the ground. I want to make sure I get a good lift. I want to make sure that I don't stop. You see this? A lot of people stop, but he just steps out of it. Doesn't work. If I don't get a good lift, if I only lift this high, well, he just steps right out of it. If I get a good lift, step out of it, he cannot. We get our takedown. Another thing we want to remember about Osoto Gari is I really like it for when someone's using a stiff arm against me. A lot of people say that, you know, you can't get into throw when somebody's doing a stiff arm. I like Osoto for that because I just turn my chest. Now, instead of going this way against his arm, I'm going to go this way. So I go here, turn the chest, go to that side. Same technique. 